Hey guys, good day. I wanted to sh show you what I uh, what got me started on all this crazy stuff with these planets and this Trappist system, and how NASA came out on February 22nd and announced that they have discovered another solar system that's 40 light years away with seven planets, and it talks in specificity about the planets what they look like. They even got pictures of them. These things are 40 light years away. There's no way they're going to know any of this stuff, but they somehow are feeding it to us like it's like we're supposed to believe this. But my thoughts are this is pre-programming. They are getting us ready for the exposure of this system within our solar system like we've talked about. Um, so, you know, they just they claim there's a discovery of a mini solar system with uh, seven planets and a brown dwarf star that emits infrared radiation. The big news is that around the very nearby cold small star nearby why did he say nearby if it's 40 light years away it doesn't make any sense nearby i mean the closest star is what alpha centauri it's four light years away and this is 10 times farther than alpha centauri and he's saying it's nearby that's stupid but you know that's this is this is half truth half lies whole small star we found seven rocky earth-sized planets all of which could potentially have liquid water So, okay, so this is what they announced, okay? Officially, NASA announced this. Now, years ago, years ago, of course, we know that Revelation uh, chapter 12, the second verse, uh, a third verse, talked about a great red dragon, a second sign, a great red dragon or a brown dwarf star that emits infrared light with seven heads and ten horns. The thoughts here is are it's seven planets and there's ten moons associated with those seven planets. Some of the planets have more than one moon, obviously. Okay, so... Let me go backwards. This is a strange video. It's called the Imaru system. I'm going to play this video here. I'll leave a link for it. And it's another animation. This was put out years ago. The Imaru solar system. It's got a brown dwarf star. And it's got seven planets and a bunch of moons. Now they're going to show an animation for it. It's mysterious of origin. Here in the center is the brown dwarf star. These things moving around, these are the planets. So, nobody knows where this came from. It just popped up on YouTube. I, I asked some comments a while back. Somebody said, you know, one of these alien Zeta guys gave it to somebody here. Let's see what happens. I said, um, I put, where did this come from? And Twiggy said, according to Hoffers, it came from a Pleiadian somebody. Ha ha ha, whatever. Um, so, I don't know. I just think, I think this is just, they just leak this stuff because they want to, because they know it and somebody gets a hold of it and they leak it. But this is what I want to show you here. I want to show you something that's extraordinary in a second here. You're going to see it. It goes through the seven planets and gives them all names. Let me jump through it rather quickly here. Okay, this is the, the brown dwarf star. They have a name for it. I guess they call it yeah, uh, Imaru. You know, I don't know where this comes from, but that's what they got it. And you know, the people that do the uh, the whole UFO thing, they talk to the aliens. There's a whole group of those folks, and they don't believe in Jesus, but they believe in the higher being. This is the first planet. Isatum. There's people that follow all this. They have they have these names for these seven planets. Uh, I'm not doubting them. I'm just Saru, the second planet. Uh, Nepisti, something, Yuri, Mateem, fifth planet. Look here. Now, when we get to the sixth planet, here's Nibiru. Now, here, this Nibiru, in this other thing, whatever, it's got two moons. See the moons off to the right? And one of the moons orbits the smaller moon, orbits the bigger moon. And this planet looks like Earth. It's kind of like bluish. It's not Nibiru as we think of Nibiru being red and all that kind of stuff. But what I want to show you is this. This is the crazy part. So I saw this a couple years ago, and I didn't pay any attention to it. Let's see what it says here. Uh, Nana rotates around something else clockwise. It's talking about the moons. So watch to the left here as we see these moons coming around. See, there, there's the two moons. Okay, one's becoming invisible. See, the two moons come around. 
just see the way the moons look. So the small one's going around the big one, big moon. And they're all going around the, this planet over here. And you see it real close up. Let me get to it here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so right there. Um, just this is. Okay, let me. I'm trying to get you a part of this animation to see. Now watch here. Look here. Oh, it's not coming yet. Come on. It's coming. There, there it is. Right there. Okay, see that coming across. See what that looks like in this picture. Okay. So what I'm getting to is that's the here. Here's a top view of it. Here's the one. The moon. The little moon's going around the big moon. They're all going around. Okay. So we saw what I saw there. It was well, we saw uh, it looked like this. Bottom line is this: I found webcam pictures that show two moons and a planet, and we're going to look at them right now. Which is crazy, but okay. Here's here's the webcams to Mexico, uh, um, what January thirty first, twenty sixteen. Now look very close. You're going to see right in here. You're going to see a planet start to appear, and you're going to see two objects off to the left, and one is rotating around the other one, just like in the animation we saw from that leaked video that somebody put up on YouTube. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, here's the planet. Here's one of the smaller moon and the bigger moon. Now watch those little moons. I want to move through it rather quickly, then I'll go backwards. See them moving? Now all of a sudden the sun is shining over top of this the idea that the planet's there anyway is crazy, but the two moons are right there. You can see the the two. I'm gonna go backwards now. Watch the two moons. So here's one. Here's the little moon, and here's the big moon. See, here's the little moon. Here's the big moon. Here's the planet. I'll go through quickly now, so you can see them rotating. Sun comes over. That's the sun simulator is going over. That's what that is. This is just insane. So I don't know whether you guys are catch, capturing this video here, but I mean I can see it plain as day on my monitor. But whether you guys can see it in this video, I don't know. We'll have to look at it when I'm done here in a minute. But the fact that a leaked animation of a solar system. Um, and the way they the way they showed the moon, those two moons and that planet, that I s captured this in webcams to Mexico, Mexico is just extraordinary. It, it, how could you ever have considered that to be the case? I'm going to zoom into this right now. Okay, so here is the planet. Here is the big moon and the little moon. Now let me go backwards. Little moon, the big moon, the planet. Let me zoom in like this over here. Yeah, here's the the big planet, the little moon's right here, and I'm sorry, the big moon's right here, and the little moon's there. So, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I mean, it's just this. I think they have, a, they have a spot here where have the single looks. Let me go backwards. Let me show you what they think this See, this is what... This right here is, to the left is Earth, and to the right is this, what they call Nibiru in this, in this system here. That's, um... Yeah, this is a different video. I'm just, the Amaru system. Amaru. Okay, guys. With that, have a good evening. Talk to you soon, and God bless you.